Hey guys, welcome to Fanfic Theater. I'm your host, Alex the Border Collie. For today's episode, we get another Sonic fanfic. I know, big surprise. But I just couldn't wait to do this one. The following comic, Fancy Party Shenanigans, is one in a series of short stories by Eve. The comic is a comedy based off the Sonic Boom canon, although there are references to other games in the franchise as well, and it takes place years in the future. The story contains most of the major video game cast along with three fan characters. Aurora, Sonic and Amy's daughter and Shadow's girlfriend, Cece, Tails' robot assistant and personal companion, and Rough and Tumble, Knuckles and Rouge's adopted sons. The dub for this comic was done by Gregof0511. You'll find links to both Gregof0511 and eBay in the description below. Now, for our feature presentation. What do you mean you're not going? You can't not go. You know I can't stand social events. But... I'm going to be performing there. Aren't you going to support me? I stopped by to send you my well wishes. I'm sure you'll be perfect. Remember when you told me you love me? When you said you'd do anything for me? That did not include dinner parties. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the fine print on that one. Oh, you dumb, stubborn, old. Ugh. If you're going to be like that, I'll make sure I dance with every single guy at that party. <laughs> As if that stubborn father of yours would ever allow that. Please. He will be so relieved that I'm not fussing over you. He will be overjoyed. Uh, he wouldn't, would he? Well, I hope you have a fabulous time by yourself. Whoa. I didn't know you were going dressed like that. Let's get going, Teeny. Good night, Grandpa. Uh, Aurora, wait. I need to find a suit. Introducing Mr. and Mrs. Sock the Hedgehog and family. Welcome, Hedgehog family. Oh, thank chaos you're here. You all look wonderful, but Sonic, I believe it is customary to wear a bow tie to black tie events. That's what I've been telling him. I put on pants, didn't I? We are all just so proud of you, babe. Knock it off, Ames. Introducing Mr. and Mrs. Knuckles, the Echidna, and family. Is something wrong, Uncle Tails? Oh, no, no, no. These rich snobs are just a handful, that's all. I can't wait to hear you sing, Lightning Bug. Welcome, all of you. Thanks for having us. Boys, what do we say? Thank, Thank you for inviting, inviting us to this elegant affair. <sighs> I didn't mean you two, Knuckles. It's right! Hey, T-Man. Hey, Ruff. I've never seen you boys looking so fresh. I'll put snot in our fur! Hair gel, T-Bone. But it might as well be snot. Bleh. My date stood me up. Maybe I could steal a dance with you two so I don't have to spend the entire evening by myself? That won't be necessary. Introducing Mr. Shadow the Hedgehog. Ram. Hey, you watch your mouth, young lady. I'm glad you changed your mind. Me too. I'm sorry about earlier. You look phenomenal. Back off, creep. Oh, I didn't realize compliments were against the rules. Great parenting skills, Sonic. Now everyone listen. We're all going to be polite and get along and not fight at our friend's party. Oh, so help me, I'll be all into the ground. Curious. I was looking forward to Styx attending. Don't take it personally. This isn't really Styx's thing. Thought you could pull a fast one on Styx, eh? Inviting me to your evil robot party? I've got my eye on you. Now. Uh, I actually don't know how. Whoa! <laughs> you are encouraged to step on my feet if you require any assistance. You know, normally the roles are supposed to be reversed. But hey, let's wing it. Oh, Sonic, we're not 
before he dies. It's like the whole world stops spinning. Uh oh. I'd better fix that. Sorry you're stuck dancing with me while your woman sings. People have been asking me to show up in one of my comics and I thought this was the perfect opportunity. What was that? So, how are things with Tails? Mostly pleasant, though there continues to be a language barrier at times. It is so peculiar. In my former life, my purpose was to translate languages between computers. Yet with Tails, there is so much I still do not understand. Oh, don't worry, Cece. It'll come with time. Sonic and I are so close, we don't even have to talk of words anymore. Watch this. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> it worked! What did you tell him? Oh, just that we forgot Zoran back at the house. Sorry, CC. I gotta steal my wife from you for a bit. We'll be back. Impressive. Mm. Dad! Please, that's the leg! I want to take just the leg! I swear! Of course you can, bud. Yes! Thank you! Just hand me your plate. Ah! It's mine at last! Return my appendage, or I shall exact the law of Thailand upon you! That's the spirit, you know. Stop this fancy party. Okay, so while everyone was focusing on the kids, I accidentally stole this necklace. Ooh, this looks delicious. I'm here. As much as I'd love to knock you on your drunk tail, I need to remind you that we agreed not to fight tonight. Yeah, yeah. Just keep walking, tough guy. Wait, I don't understand. Bartender! Get this pipsqueak a drink over here. <clears throat> you don't have to do that. Oh... But I do. You see, I've come to the painful realization that I'm stuck with you. So, screw it. Let's just drink up and let me pick your brain, okay? That's what in laws do, don't they? You see. Get your finger off my face before I rip it off your hand! Cheers, you son of... Oh, wait! Are you even old enough to drink, little grandpa baby? <laughs> what did I miss? Have they killed each other? No. They've just been... talking. I... I just can't believe my daughter had to pick a... Hmm. Excuse me. Genetically engineered meme today. <laughs> and just what are you laughing at? I just pictured the violin is showing up at your door and it talks like a... Pops. No. <laughs> but Daddy, I love him. <laughs> it's a salamander. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to kick your teeth in. <laughs> and you're like my friend, but I can't freaking stand you. We, we should do karaoke. Yes. Yes. <laughs> my dad and my boyfriend are making drunk jokes about me. Well, at least they're bonding. <laughs> you all must be cleansed of your hoity toity facade. Come on, throw something else in. I can keep this up for ages. That is a family heirloom. Give me my teeth back. Put your party pants on, Leroy. 
Hate is a strong word, but I really, really, really don't like you. I really don't like you. Get on the stage! I'll fucking kill you! But oh, stop! In the name of love. I'm the ultimate curio dirt. Uh, I'm the coolest! Just play it cool, boy. Real cool. You have to give it all back, Rooch. Your thieving days are behind you. You can't make me, you stubborn brute. Tumble. You get down here and give Cece her leg back. No! Give it back, T-Bone! Her hand won't stop attacking me! Well, I've been set on fire. This is my cue to go home. Love the party. Wow. This party went to hell and I had nothing to do with it. He in my house. Shut up. Your voice is even more annoying than usual. Well, let's see. The two of you drank the place dry and refused to be separated for the rest of the night. So you invite Shadow over to build a pillow fort. Oh, and you both thought it'd be hilarious to bring up embarrassing Aurora stories. She made you both breakfast, though. Guess she's not that bitter about it. Oh, wait. Yes, she is. Good morning. I thought you guys might be hungry, so I made you this. No hard feelings, right? Oh, and I took the liberty of developing the photos from last night. Don't worry about distributing them. By the time you wake up, I'll have already hand-delivered them to everyone. Aurora. P.S. This one's my babe. Oh, sweet chaos. I give you permission to kill me now. That's my girl. <sighs> what the? Root! So, you didn't come to bed last night. You decided to work instead. I do not require sleep, remember? Yeah, but... Well, I'm sorry about the party. You are forgiven. However, I revoke your privilege to host any more of these events. Actually, now that you mention it, I already agreed that we would. I forbid the hosting of future Holy events. Holy crud! Cece, I was kidding! Regulate your heartbeat. It was only a taunt. I could not harm you, even if I tried. What is wrong with me? Some type of firewall in my chest cavity? I may need to install some upgrades. I'm sorry. Again. And, um, you... Well, you, uh, looked really pretty last night. I meant to tell you earlier. I'll just get to work now. I completed most of today's task while you were sleeping. I proposed the idea to use the spare time to do a leisurely activity together. Perhaps to make up for last night, so to speak. And you look quite pretty as well. So, that was Fancy Party Shenanigans, just one of a number of short stories that Eve has written that all take place in the same universe. So, now we get to the part where I talk about my opinions and thoughts, etc. Uh, I'd like to start with some of my more negative comments slash critiques, just to get that out of the way. Understand that these comments aren't in any way intended to offend the creator. This comic is really good overall, These her comics in general. But they do tend to fall into some sort of typical fanfiction tropes. In specific, I feel like I have to talk about the elephant in the room here. Aurora the Hedgehog. Now, of, you know, Sonic fan characters, Aurora is certainly not a bad one as far as her visual design and the like. Her name, however, and her base costume design don't really feel like they fit very comfortably with the other characters. Her costume feels a little bit too complex compared to other characters, and her name just feels kind of awkward. Um, but that's not really the bigger problem here. My bigger problem with Aurora is that she's a very kind of bland character compared to everybody else. There's lots of comic strips with her in them that are really funny or really adorable, 
but generally not because of Aurora, but rather because of the things that the other characters in the comic strip are doing, and the way that the other characters interact with her. Aurora herself has a very kind of um, uninteresting personality by comparison, because everybody else, of course, has these very extreme personalities, shadows, the really sort of extremely, you know, emo guy, and then CC's the extremely the extremely socially stunted character, Tails is the nerd, etc. But you know, I don't really feel like there's anything notable about Aurora. Like I couldn't think of anything that would describe her personality really very well because there's just not a whole lot of personality to that character, I think, at least compared to the rest of the cast. That's not to say that she's bad, but I feel like she could be better developed. Now moving on to the good comments, of course, which is the part that I love talking about. Generally speaking, a lot of the sort of fanfiction tropes that would normally be counted as negatives are really easily overlooked when you're laughing your ass off. I read this comic and I died laughing at certain bits, especially the, the drunk Sonic and Shadow was hilarious. I, I loved that bit. Um, and of course, if you're a big Sonic nerd, then I think that you'll find this her comics to be really funny as well. There's a lot of situational humor. It's a lot of jokes that, you know, when you're familiar with the characters, the jokes are really funny. And aside from just the humor, I think that, uh, the like, the artwork is also really good. I like the artwork a lot uh, for pretty much all of Eva's stuff. I'd say that overall, this comic does a pretty good job as far as sort of glimpsing into the future and what the lives of these characters might be like in the future. I like that they didn't, you know, give everybody 20 billion children. I thought the idea of Tails' girlfriend being a robot was hilarious and incredibly appropriate. You know, and Knuckles and Rouge's adopted kids, I thought was an interesting idea that I rather liked how that was done. So, yeah, I mean, overall, I think this is a great comic, and I think that she's got lots of other comics that you can check out that you'll probably enjoy too, especially if you're a big Sonic nerd. So, I think that's about all I have to say about that. Before I go, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscriptions. I love you all. And, um, have a happy Thanksgiving. And don't take yourselves too seriously.